how to add payment method in WordPress website 2024 step by step. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be talking about WordPress and how you can use this absolutely incredible software and uh, add payments onto it. So to add payments onto your WordPress, first of all, what you're gonna need to do is obviously you're gonna make sure that your account is uh, a an upgraded account, okay? And you can find the upgrades over here. So just go to upgrades, we're gonna go to plans from upgrades and in the plans you can see you have all these plans. So to add payments for yourself, okay? You can't really get payments on the personal and premium plan. You know, you are going to have to get at least the business plan or the WooCommerce plan, obviously, because this is where you can actually get payments for yourself. And even in the requirements, you're going to start seeing that it gives you the capability of adding your very own payments into WordPress. It automates them and it's a pretty easy thing to work with. So, yeah, that's the kind of working that you are going to need when it comes to all of this. So to actually go ahead and add payments for yourself, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to plugins, okay? And in the plugin section, first of all, you're gonna make sure to at least get the business or WooCommerce plan. As you can see, to add plugins, it does need to upgrade itself. So once you do that, what you're gonna do is you're simply gonna write WooCommerce in the plugin section, and it should give you a WooCommerce plugin over here. Okay, but in the case it doesn't, you can simply come over here into WooCommerce. And here, as you can see, it says run your store and everything. So the WooCommerce dashboard or the WooCommerce welcome page when you sign it up, obviously asks you to set up all the details for your WooCommerce store. So in the WooCommerce store detail, it asks you to, you know, add your product, add your store details, you know, all the necessary things. And then to actually go ahead and add your very own payments. It's going to ask you to set up payments. Now to set up payments, I'm just going to show you over here. If we go on set up payments, WooCommerce, you're going to see that WooCommerce actually provides you with a lot of different providers. So you can see that uh, you can actually get payments through receiving bank accounts. You can get them through PayPal, but the best way to get your payments is through Stripe. Okay. Stripe, in my opinion, works amazingly with WooCommerce and uh, most people working on WordPress using WooCommerce recommend Stripe. OK, so that is exactly what we're going to do. What we're going to do from here is we're going to go to Stripe. So I'm going to open up a new tab over here and I'm going to write Stripe. And once you write Stripe, it brings you here. Stripe.com financial infrastructure for the Internet. So you're going to turn Stripe on and it's going to bring you here. And you can see over here, it gives you a lot of great integrations, you know, a lot of integrations to work with. So to start off with your Stripe, you're going to simply click and sign in. And there's no plans or different types of pricings. It's totally free. Once you come over here, what's going to happen is they're going to ask you to log into your account. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and add the email that we want to connect with Stripe. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. Then you have the password. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and add that real quick as well. There we go. And once you do that, simply click on continue. But if you don't have an account, you can simply click on sign up as well. So the signing up process is really simple. Okay, all you're gonna do is you're gonna add your email, you're gonna add your name and all, country, and add a password for yourself. So I'm just uh, gonna go ahead and fill that in. There we go. And once you do that, you are simply going to click on create account. But in the case that it says that your password is not strong enough, you can simply go ahead with that and click on create account. Now, once you do that, as you can see in the support business model, it actually tells you that you can support your e-commerce business models. And that is exactly what our WordPress is. And as I said, there's different ways that you can connect emails to WordPress. But in my opinion, when it comes to WooCommerce, Stripe works best. So I would definitely recommend all you watchers out there to just use this on Stripe. Now, when this comes up, it's going to ask us to verify our email. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and verify my Stripe email. And once my Stripe email is confirmed and verified, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to reload the page. So just to come here, I am going to go ahead and reload everything in. And uh, once everything is confirmed, you're going to be good to go. It's going to ask you to 
add in your password to your email. Okay, now I'm just going to do that on the separate tab that I have opened. And yeah, we're pretty much good to go. Now it's going to take us to the signing in process and let me show you what it looks like. So this is what the whole sign in process looks like. It's uh, just loading in and I'm going to wait for it to do that. And here you go. Activate payments on your account. Now, obviously, you can go ahead and start off by doing this, but I'm going to click on explore more features. Now, once you click on explore more features and sign in with your account, it's going to do what do you need to do with Stripe? So, you know, there's accept payments online or in person, manage subscription and invoices in quotes, run a platform or marketplace, create a commercial card platform. So I'm going to go with accept payments. OK, and you can get started with payment links straight away where you can actually add links to different places. So to add in your payments, obviously, what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to create a payment uh, activation. So first of all, it's going to ask you your business type, you know, what business are you activating the payment for? So in our case, obviously, the business that we're going to be activating things for is WooCommerce. So you're going to make sure to add all those things, then you're going to add your bank, secure your account, add all the extras. And once you click on review and finish, what that will do is it will activate the payments for your Stripe. Now, once the payments are activated, how will you connect Stripe's gateway to your WooCommerce. Let me show you how. So first of all, what we're going to do, obviously, we're here in our uh, Stripe section. So I'm going to go on Stripe products over here and I'm going to go and show me all products. And here are different things. So what we need to do is obviously we're going to create different payment links. I'm going to click on get started again. It's going to take you into activating payments. But trust me, when it comes to creating a payment link, it's really simple. It gives you a few options to create payment links and in those options you can see share a link to a checkout page manually charge a customer invoice a customer use a pre-bill payment form and all these so the most used one is either manually charge or share a link so i'm going to go to share a link and while that is loading in you want to come to your plugins and once you're in your plugins you're going to write stripe over here as well so here as you can see i have written stripe you're going to get the WooCommerce Stripe Payment Gateway. And once you get the WooCommerce Stripe Payment Gateway, you are going to go to your Stripe dashboard. Over here, you're going to add the products that you want to create a payment for. You're going to create a gateway between those two. And obviously, once you've activated payments, you are also going to want to add a live published key, okay, which is basically your API key. So let me show you what the API key is going to look like. So you're going to come and search. And uh, I'm going to go into publish. There we go. So you're going to go into developers. You're going to go into API keys. And here's just going to give you keys. So you're going to copy this publisher key. And you're obviously once you've added the gateway in your WooCommerce, you are going to go ahead and add the publisher key over here. And that is going to connect your Stripe with your WooCommerce. And that basically sets you up. So that is how you're going to add payment to your WordPress in the easiest way. So thank you for watching. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.